All right, so where do you begin working with the dog? A lot of times we're gonna start with a burlap sack. I did not have a burlap sack in my car, so we're gonna start with the second step, which would be a bite pillow, bite pillow, bite wedge. The good thing about these is it's literally a wedge. So if this was a dog's mouth, it would fit comfortably there and they can learn to hold it open they're gonna bite hard and if they're not biting hard they don't get to hold this so when you're coming through again you're gonna tease the dog up tease the dog up make her miss a couple times when she has that mouth open wide like you're liking and this is what you're looking for when should you give that bite when the dog is performing that action how you want it so it's open wide open wide and all you're gonna do is go whoop, there you go she bites you're gonna pull back and give that force keep it smooth you don't want to be jerky you don't want to be doing anything to break the dog's neck it's all about smooth, smooth, okay. smooth. You can reach down, you can pet her head, you can give her some kicks on the side, just get her used to being messed with while she's on the bike. So, I'm gonna walk them through it, and then it's gonna be your turn. All right? So, watch. So you come in here, and every time she's bark, you wanna make some type of move. So it's like, ooh, it's like, ooh, it's like, ooh. And you see, she's engaged this whole time. If I get stiff, you see her slow down, yep. but she still knows the bark. But the video with Tron, he stopped and just sat there. So these are the things you want to be looking for. I'm going to keep her engaged. Yeah, girl, yeah, girl. And I come in. So this whole time, I can be here. She can't get it. If I take one more step in, now she's in there. Good. And you see it's at the very back. You literally can't see anything back there. It's all the way back there. She lost her bite, we're gonna wait. And when she punches in, you work her again. Stick it, stick it. Boom. Good, good. Pet her head. Good girls. And you can watch her eyes. And she's on the bite. You see, she's not closing them, she's not flinching. She knows that biting harder gets these things to go away. So also, you come here. Every time she presents punches, you want to take that pressure away. So she starts learning that if the harder she goes, the less pressure she's going to get from the uh, man. And this will transfer over in a real situation. Somebody's going to be like, oh my God, get off me! Ah, get off me! Ah! Ah! Okay. Out. Yes, so good. So, start with the bite pillow. All right. <laughs> All right, so back up a little bit. And then make a jig. So start there. Back up even more. Back up, back up, back up. All right, so your first stride is going to be over there. Your second one will be here. Third one will be here. And then you're going to come and pick it. Woo! Watch it. Hey, 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 watch it. Yeah, too quick. So what he's wanting to do is he wants to wait till she barks again before she moves to the next one. So go there, call her ugly. Hey, you ugly dog, you ugly ugly. Now there you go. So when you go from place to place, think about like a rabbit or something scurrying really quickly. And don't look at the dog. Eye contact is a challenge. You want to be prey. Prey isn't challenging a dog. It's not a bear coming to fight. It's a rabbit trying to get away from him. So now you're going too slow. <laughs> Watching me. So, and be careful. She's a civil dog. She will get your arm. So when do I present the pillow for her to bite? You can. Out of her. So pull back. So remember, this this here is your safety. This is your seatbelt. If this is tight, she can't get to you. If this has slack, she can come off that and go to your face. Good girl. Good girl. So then you reach your hand. So put your hand and cover her eyes. And just hold it there until she punches. And as soon as she punches, relieve the pressure. Hey, that a girl. Good dog. Good job. Good dog. Good Dog. And if you do want to get her to bite, back up just a hair, and then now she has enough leash to get it. If it's tight all the way, she can't get any more. But I have to be aware that if there is slack, she can. She can. So that's why you are sure about the slack that you're having. 
Good job, good job. All right, let her win. Good dog. And at the end of every session, you want to make sure the dog wins so they know that at no matter what they go through, they are going to get that championship, that Super Bowl trophy at the end. You don't want to let your dog do that, though. Nope. Out. So let's go back to me moving too fast. No. no. Open. Out. Down. Hold on. So what was the question? Going back to me moving too quickly, too mm -hmm. fast. So, you said I was moving too fast, but then I want to scurry from point to point. Yes, so. Tell them what that looks like. Yeah, everything in dogs is a contradiction. You're either moving too fast or too slow. You got to find that perfect okay. line. So, I'll start here and be like, watch her. Ah, 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 I come and go, ah, ah, then I'll wait. Ah, 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 She's barking like ah, I want, then it. Okay. Ah, ah, and if you have the sleeve on. Ah, ah, you would literally like. You see, you're even getting more amped up because you're moving like a rabbit. Okay. I'm not looking at her. It's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey. And I'll come back and restart. And I'll keep walking back until she barks. Probably getting a little tired. <laughs> and then we'll just stand here. Ah, girl. Now she barked again. Then you're gonna go in and reward that. We want her to know that the barking, watch, gets the reward. Give it a shot. Watch. Ugliest thing I've ever seen. Don't look at her when you're scurrying. Don't? Yeah. Okay. Look away. There you go. Hey, oh. oh <laughs> Notice your footwork. <laughs> that girl. Uh, when she has that bite, make sure you get this slack out. Okay. Uh -oh. See, always something to pay attention to. Uh -oh. And whenever you're starting a new decoy or somebody who's never worked with a dog, use an experienced dog where you know what they're going to do because if this person messes up, you don't want them to get bit. Or you don't want this person to ruin your dog by doing something too much too early for that dog. Take your time, build the dog up. It's a process, people. Brick by brick, step by step. Stay tuned, stay sharp. We're going to bring y'all some more later.